Welcome back everyone to our gameplay series of Farm Manager 2018. So we're picking up pretty much where we left off in the last video. I've had to let the uh, the game play through just for a couple of minutes here because uh, if you're playing this game as well, then you know that once you get a map of any size, and again, I still consider this to be a very small portion of the map that we're actually working but once you get a map going of this size with this many workers and, and this much activity that's going on, you know that it takes quite a while to load a save. And then once you get a save loaded, it takes a few more minutes to let the game sort of uh, find its footing. And because when you first get the game loaded, I mean, it takes several minutes to load a save. And then once you get beyond that portion of it, then you've got to uh, wait a, a couple more minutes while the game sort of writes itself and gets the frames per second uh, back into back into alignment where you can actually enjoy the game. So this particular episode in all likelihood is going to be the last time that we use this particular map. And there's a few reasons for that. Uh, one of which is the extremely, link, extremely long time that it takes to load the save, uh, the time it takes to uh, get the frames per second sorted out so that we can actually start the gameplay. But then there are other reasons, and that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. We're not ending the coverage of the game itself, but instead we're going to be moving on to some different maps, some fresh new starts, and some more focused gameplay. So the whole purpose of, of this particular uh, gameplay, and you can see we got lots and lots of work to do. I mean, I have let the, uh, the colza and the buckwheat fields... Uh, die out uh, in the midst of trying to work on all these other things uh, and that just goes into uh, part of it because for the purposes of filming uh, this series I decided that I wanted to try to approach a lot of different things and that's why we've done some work with a lot of different types of animals we've done work with honey we've done work with uh, seed production we've done fields greenhouses I mean you name it we've done a lot of different things and that was the entire point. The point of this series was never to focus on making the most money possible uh, even though we've made certainly quite a bit of money but we've never been uh, particularly worried about that. It's been all about experiencing all of the different things that the game has to offer and at this point I feel like there are a lot of factors coming together that let me know that now is a good time to move on for this from this particular map. And one of those reasons is uh, I'm running out of things that I really want to try on this particular map. And uh, another big reason is we're getting to a point where uh, beyond the save issues and the loading of the save issues and that kind of thing, we're getting to a point where we've got so many workers that it's really starting to cause the game to stumble. Now, had the game not had some of the updates that it received probably a month or so ago at this point, uh, to help out with that we wouldn't have been able to make it this far but we have been able to make it this far uh, for a specific reason and that is because we've managed to do a lot with what little that the game uh, is offering us as far as uh, optimization but I think we're, we're coming to the end of that and so what I want to do in videos going forward is I want to have more focused gameplay instead of trying to do a little bit of everything and which leaves me very much vulnerable to things like what we're seeing with uh, these colza and buckwheat fields. What I want to do is just have a very focused gameplay and that'll mean one maybe two or three episodes at the most for that particular map and then we'll move on and we'll try something else and we'll see how that goes. My my idea for how long I continue series on the channel and coverages of games is based on two factors generally. One is how much I'm enjoying playing the game and two is how much you guys are enjoying joining me playing that game. So if either of those two starts to falter then I will get rid of the series in a heartbeat because it's just not worth it if I'm not enjoying it or you guys aren't enjoying it. So going forward in the future if you guys have uh, an idea for something you'd like to see me try for a focused uh, series of maybe a couple of episodes uh, such as, and I'll give you a few ideas, because I know there are some scenarios within the game. Let's see, is this thing, okay. Lost track of what I was actually, what I was actually trying to do over here. 
Uh, but I do know there are some scenarios built into the game, and I'll take a look at those, but I'm not terribly excited uh, generally about built-in scenarios. I usually like to do things on my own terms just and just have some fun with it uh, and just see what I can what I can do and how much fun I can have with it. So I'll be looking at those, and who knows, we might try uh, one or two of those. But for the most part, I'm looking at things like uh, where we'll do a, just a concentrated effort and do nothing but maybe cows or nothing but chickens or nothing but goats or something like that. On the other hand, maybe we will try something completely different uh, and do nothing but field work. Maybe we'll get a few giant fields and just see what kind of money we can make doing that. Uh, I could do a map and do nothing but greenhouses. Again, these are very short and focused videos where we'll be doing nothing but one, maybe two particular things uh, for that particular map, and then that'll be it. We'll move on to a fresh start, a fresh map, and we'll see what we get there. So again, if you have any ideas on something you'd like to see me try, then by all means, throw them out there, and I'll see what I can do. But this is all about having fun, and I believe for a multitude of reasons, this map has sort of run its course. And when I start to see things like what I am seeing, uh, let's see, there's the buckwheat seats. All right, we got our training that is all set up. And so for the most part, we're doing good. Now, it's a good thing that it's raining right now for this particular map because it gets some much needed moisture to a lot of different parts uh, that we have going on. All right, so that's where we're going to be going for. Let's see what we've got here. Both of these, ooh, eight days, ten days, so we're almost ready to harvest those. And you can see we are actually in ready to harvest here. So let's go ahead and get that started. Uh, let's auto fill. We got our tractor, the box trailer. Good. Okay, we got a whole bunch of people, not all of which actually need to be <laughs> doing this particular activity. All right, so let's go ahead and zoom in. You can see it is very dark right now, simply because of uh, the rain. You can see we got, wow, we got one two guys that are already out there busy doing their thing. Here they go. Now comes the rest of them. And of course, our box trailer is going to park in probably the worst spot, the farthest away from our workers. So we got strawberries on this particular field, and we've had to do quite a bit of work on this field. We've seen that. Uh, thankfully, our crop quality is much better over here than it was on some of our other fields. Uh, let's see what these guys have going on. But yeah, they are definitely getting to it. So the fact that we're using this box trailer means that we're going to get fewer workers, I'm sure. So if we had decided to do just the, the pure worker uh, aspect of this, then we would have been able to use more workers, not that we have them available, but it's kind of odd that because we're using only a box trailer and no other method of of obtaining the strawberries that it limits the number of workers that we can use. Let's see how we're doing on this field. So we still got plenty of time for it. And of course, we haven't even really started uh, in earnest to work on these other fields and by the time we would get around to that, it would be time to harvest these other two fields. So this is why I would prefer more of a focused approach uh, going forward because, as I mentioned, the whole point of this series from the beginning has been that we would try a little bit of everything and not worry too much about anything. And I think that's uh, sort of run its course from my perspective with the long loads times on the saves and the frames per second are starting to dwindle so this looks like a good time as any to go ahead and get this process reset, get a fresh start, and see what we can have fun with uh, in, in the next series of videos. All right, looks like we need to purchase some more cows as our slaughterhouse is definitely working quite well. Would just be nice if if the auto inseminator would get to a point where it was useful on the cows. But enough time in the game has not still not passed before that would be 
uh, applicable to them. Okay, you can see our cows being delivered there. Should have, yeah, we got multiple trucks that are pulling up. Okay, well, I see three more over there. This one has just unloaded. It looks like three. It should be four. Maybe two of them are stuck together there. Right, let's see how well these guys are doing. Yes, they are almost done. And in fact, I couldn't even get the words out of my mouth. So we're, we're ready for this. And again, this is, we are definitely under... Uh, under utilizing our ability to uh, purchase more stuff at this point we need at least one and I'm thinking probably if we wanted to continue on with this and, and be able to work all of these fields uh, because again we haven't even made it to these fields we made it a little bit onto this field but we haven't even made it to all these fields we would need probably at least two more tractors to do it comfortably now we can you know try to get by with what we've had at least one more tractor I feel like would be just a must-have but I'm thinking two more tractors to even reasonably consider working these to a great degree because the idea would be to try to get two plantings and two harvest per year on each of these fields but of course we're going to be nowhere near that uh, for the most part with with the ones that we're planting wheat on now we get by that by planting uh, perennials on some of those and we'll definitely get multiple uh, harvests out of these but uh, for the most part yeah we would need quite a bit more equipment and I didn't see that coming as I mentioned in previous videos that is not something that I saw coming uh, because I was thinking that we would have because of how quickly the tractor is able to do tasks I thought we would be able to keep up and be able to work several fields but it turns out that uh, that is not the reality let's see how these things are going our apples 46 days left everything is pretty much looking good uh, now our quality over here isn't looking too good I let the moisture get way way too low over there earlier and that shocked exactly no one okay we are in bad need of some moisture oh we have still no workers I thought we actually had a couple of them come available but uh, I was wrong about that so you can see, if in the long term we wanted to keep up with uh, having to do these harvests, which are essentially manual harvest, the box trailer really doesn't help out a whole lot uh, in these circumstances. But if we wanted to keep this up, we would definitely need more workers. But for our purposes right now, I am going to not worry a whole lot about these greenhouses uh, in fact, let's go ahead, let's get back on these raspberries. Okay, is it still showing? Yes, it's still showing that we're harvesting here, so we've got to give that a moment and let everything... There we go. Now that all of our machines and all of our workers... Wait a minute, why do we show... Okay, yeah, there we go. It had me worried there because I was expecting to see like 14 or 15 of them available and then all of a sudden it goes to zero. And I just wanted to make sure that that's because I showed them in this window and not because of something else that was going on. All right, let's go ahead and get that going. So yeah, we would have to get back into hiring. Uh, probably seasonal workers would be the easiest way of doing that because we don't need uh, a ton of... Of permanent workers in order to do the greenhouses we've been doing fine with about seven to eight of those has in general been uh, sufficient oh, let's go ahead and zoom in here you can see their raspberries there and then as they pick the raspberries you can see how the texture changes and once again our trailer has parked as far away as possible from where the workers got started. Right, let's zoom in here. All right, not bad. 
again, I continue to be amazed at, because uh, I spend so much time in the top-down mode, because we spend so much time doing the broader tasks and, and needing the ability to see all of the fields at once, and as much of the map as we can see at once to see all of the different tasks that need to be accomplished. Ooh, there's some more rain. That is a wonderful thing. Definitely helps us out. But yeah, by spending so much time in the top-down mode, then as soon as I go to uh, this mode where we get zoomed in, I'm I'm still amazed at just how good of a job they've done with the animations and, and the textures and so forth from this particular angle. This isn't the type of game you expect a whole lot from graphically. Um, and admittedly, once you get once you get zoomed in as much as we are now, then things start to break down a little bit graphically there. You can see a very clear indication of how these things are done modeling wise. But overall, I must say, pretty happy with that. And these guys are just moving right along with it, getting all their work done. Let's go ahead and zoom in now. Let's take a look over. Yeah, you can see we got quite a few wind farm. That is a lot. In fact, I haven't even counted how many of those we actually have going. But they are certainly making us quite a bit of money. Uh, let's go ahead and zoom in here to a report get an idea and see how much we made in the last month okay wow four hundred and eighty eight thousand dollars yep that's a return on investment that will get things done and certainly certainly get you some money to and of course we have plenty of money that we could further expand that so if we want to take a quick look at our the amount of income oh that was last year not last month I thought that seemed like a an amount that was way too high. There we go, 53600 That's a little bit better. But if we take a look at the different sources of revenue per month and not per year, then we're doing pretty good. I mean, of course, uh, the strawberries and now uh, the raspberries, we've got, in fact, are we selling those automatically? We should have some raspberries in here unless they've automatically been sold which I'm hoping is the case actually. Okay, we've got a lot of seed that we need to sell. Okay, yep, yeah, there's none in here, so it must have been that we've already set that up. Excellent. All right, so the coals of seed, let's go ahead and get all of that. There's another roughly 80,000 on that. Wheat, uh, we'd like to keep some of that around see what else we got anything else yeah we got corn and of course all of this is from our seed production and makes us quite a bit of money let's see lupine seed sell all of that and again the money is just going straight up at this point we're back to making all of the different types of honey at least until I once again forget to uh, keep things watered and keep the fungus off of them and that kind of thing, which I am certainly inclined to do. Take a look at our trailer here and see what we got here. Okay, I mean, again, you can see the textures are kind of simplistic and and there is definitely something left to be desired if you were uh, of the mind that you wanted to keep it at this level at all times, but if you back away just a little bit, then everything certainly looks fine to me, and all that blends in quite nicely. You don't really see the tiling as much as you do if you zoom all the way in, but for the most part, uh, things are looking good. Now, another good development for the game itself is the fact that it's back on Steam. That happened recently. Uh, I know absolutely nothing about what was keeping it off Steam to begin with. I just know that there were some issues that they had to work through. Uh, unfortunately, it took them quite a while. Hopefully, the developers haven't been hurt too terribly much by this and are able to get back on their feet and uh, keep going with the support of the game by having fresh sales of the game coming in through Steam. So hopefully, all of that got sorted out 
in a way that's good for the developers so they can get back to the business of running their game rather than worrying about the legal side of things. All right, let's go ahead and zoom back out and see what, just see the state here. Thankfully, we don't have to worry about the animals. For the most part, all of that takes care of itself. And things are still going fairly well. Fairly well. Or at least as well as things can be going with the fact of me being in control and forgetting a lot of things. There you can see we... Okay, moisture is good. Moisture is not good here. Let's try to get that going. Oh, every time I forget that we've got all of our people that are over here uh, that are actually working. And of course, that's not going to change anytime soon because they need to get busy on the strawberry field as well. So at this point, we're simply working with a lot less than what we need to be working with. But at this point, I don't really see any reason to go on a spending spree and purchase a lot more equipment and hire a bunch more workers because that's going to do it for this particular playthrough. But I think we've accomplished a lot through this. We've done a lot of different things and gotten an opportunity to see uh, some bugs along the way. And we've also gotten an opportunity to see uh, how a lot of the different game mechanics work. So moving forward, again, we're going to try a much more focused gameplay that will where we'll be using uh, new maps and those gameplays will last probably one episode, maybe two uh, at the most, I would imagine, but very short and focused gameplays where we'll try to cram as much action as we can into just a few videos. But for now, I think that's going to do it. These guys are hard at work down here on the raspberries, so we'll let them continue on about their work. But for now, that's going to do it. Thank you very much for joining me, and stay tuned as we continue with our gameplay series of Farm Manager 2018.